crazy. Wait. No, I go beasties. I did something that's crazy for a holiday. She cute. Something that's crazy for the holiday. And it's a little late. So I'm starting to feel, don't worry about how I look, okay? It's been one of those days. So anyway, listen, listen. So I was starting to feel the empty nester syndrome with all the kids going, right? So I was like, what am I gonna do? Bobby had basketball games and see all these things come out after the fact so i did something i'll probably regret later but oh well that's my life i had something i thought about driving back home when i say back home i mean back to new york i thought about driving back home and then i kind of fell out with one of my friends so i couldn't stay with him wait 51. So, what I did, I drove to the beach. I'm back at the beach. Where am I going? Oh no, I gotta go up one more floor. I rented a condo for a couple of days for the holiday on the beach. Well, it's across the street from the beach. I just gotta walk over. And so I didn't know how to get in because I was having technical difficulties. So I'm gonna call you right back. Let me figure out how to get in. Okay, I'll call you back. So I figured out how to get in. Let's see what this little beach house is getting. in the pool. It's not that hot out anyway. Then, I don't know if you can see, way over there, that's the beach. Way over there. There, there, there. Plates. What are these nice plates? Oh, there are some. A few pans. Okay, and toaster. Just nice. Coffee maker. Oh, these are nice. Those are nice cups. Oh, 
is cute. I think you can see it. Let's close this. Up in here. The open here. How do I start? So, and I waited till it was dark, and I was doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So what I'm going to have to do is go to Walmart. But the only thing that I wasn't crazy about when I got here, they was like, oh, you got to pay for parking. I was like, oh, I thought parking was included. So that was like a hidden fee I didn't know about. And it wasn't cheap. And um, Sydney, my other daughter, is supposed to come up here in a couple of days. We're going to have to find her parking on the street because paying another parking fee? I don't think so. I don't think so. So that hmm, wasn't too crazy about that. Or if the owners have a spot, they, sh they should have been like, no, you park in my parking spot. Because I guess people who live here have a parking spot. So, But I don't know if they pay for that. So I don't know. That should have been included. But the place looks cute. It's clean. And it's cute. And so I'm just gonna make um, abbreviated version of Thanksgiving dinner. And so I may make some lasagna soup tomorrow, which I can eat that a couple of days and I can still have the little fixings on the side cause that could be kind of slower like in macaroni and cheese. I don't know, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? And I might do fried chicken. I might do a little batch of fried chicken instead of a big turkey. So that is my plan, what I plan to do. And then I need to do Sydney's hair. So I'll be doing that as well. I don't know, I just felt like I had to get away at school. You know, all the kids were so cute. And it's like the kids now fill my bucket now that my kids are gone. And then I got a little teary eyed. And then some of the kids started hugging me because y'all yeah, gonna miss my students and be away for a long time and so after i booked this little condo airbnb then he goes bobby well you could have came down here i was like but you said you were traveling with games she was like yeah but this is the first time all our games are at home i wish i had told you <laughs> nobody was thinking about me before so i i ended up doing this a few people invited me to eat with their families and stuff but Mm -mm. It's it's just not the same. So this is my first Thanksgiving, living the car life and not having a place, and the kids not home. Uh, Clinton had a friendsgiving with his friends in Colorado. Sydney is book solid, babysitting, staying here, staying there, seeing her friends. So it wouldn't have been like she would have been home anyway. She would have been in the street. So I just felt like I had to do something for myself. I would have traveled um, to Mexico, but it was a little late. And so the prices were out of my price range for a little short quick trip. But I will definitely plan better in the future. And for Christmas, we have a place where we're going to um, stay for Christmas. So that's taken care of. And so that's good. And other than that, so now I'm just going to, try to find this Walmart and get a few items. I still have to bring stuff upstairs for my car. I even brought my um, pressure cooker because I wanted me some collard greens, period. Gotta have me some collard greens. <laughs> Can't miss my collard greens. And then I didn't want to buy any meat until, you know, I got here because I didn't know how long I was driving. So, oh, tight. I probably won't do much try to just go out on this expedition to find Walmart and find my way back here. It was it was a little it was a little low trying to find this place, especially at night. So it was a little eh. but I did it. 
and did something you know I normally wouldn't do. So I probably um, go buy adult soda, sit outside or something, because they got some cute little areas out there. Just chill, relax, or sit on a patio, or walk the boardwalk. And so I will keep you updated on what's going down in town. Yeah, so that's what I did. I just felt like I had to go. I wanted to go. I didn't want to be stationary. And so the weekend, I did nothing. I barely left my little, I call it my little cocoon. I didn't leave the car for about two days. And where I parked, this lady was like, um, where she could see me, she was like, you okay in here? I'm like, yeah. And child, I be, yeah, I don't know what it is. I be busy up in there. <laughs> Sister be busy up in the car. I don't know what I be, I be doing a little bit of everything. So she brought me food. Uh, I went and got me some ice and got something to drink. Went to the gym, the, the shower and stuff. But, and then I went back to my little cocoon. So just little things that I did here and there. But I need to go to Walmart before it gets later. Although it's not late, it's eight o'clock. But, you know, not familiar with the area, but I know Walmart is right around here. I don't even have to drive a mile. And I think I can walk, but I'm not walking. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know the area that well. So I will call you back later, okay? I'll call you back. <laughs> I know, I know. It's mushy. What did you want to say? Tell me. Well, I am back. I went out for a little while and I'm just getting back. So I'm like, what am I going to do now? So it's like I want to use this time that I have all this space. And I haven't done it in a while. And it's, and it's something that I enjoy to do. So I'm going to just do it. I haven't drawn in a while. And I did look up photos. So I always look up a little picture on my phone and I could make the dimensions bigger or whatever. I don't know, my brain is, works like that. So I'm gonna create a new anchor chart. And the light blew out in the kitchen. I mean, to me, it's not that serious enough to be contacted only over a light bulb, but it's fine. I mean, I have enough light over there. That's all my junk. I don't be putting my stuff on the floor, honey. I don't, I don't care. So I did grab an anchor chart. So I felt like I could use this time to do something that I thoroughly enjoy and that's relaxing to me. I brought a few pencils. I don't, do not have a pencil sharpener. <laughs> I brought some markers. I didn't bring all my supplies, but I can make do. And I brought some crayons, but I can't use crayons. I didn't bring color pencils. Dang it. Hmm. I don't, what time is it? I don't feel like running back out. I'm just gonna use what I have. And I can't use crayons when I laminate, cause I laminate my anchor charts cause they take me hours and hours and hours to create. Um, it melts the, the, the wax from the crayon when I put it through the laminator. So I do have to run back to my car to get that big paper, that big white paper. So I'm going to try something a little new, an anchor chart with a little swag too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I will show you what I create, but I will be looking at a picture, so it's not my original design, but I usually add a little twist to wherever, whatever it is. So, hmm, I do not feel like going to Walmart for color pencils and a sharpener, but if I'm going in, I'm gonna go in hard. So, and I kinda wanna finish it tonight because tomorrow I will need to work on something else and Sydney will be here. So she's coming here, of course, she wants her hair done. Oh, I need to do my own hair. I need to color my hair up y'all and do some of these braids. So when I went out a little while ago, I put on my little hat and stuff. I, you know, I try to be a little cute. <laughs> um, but it was nice and relaxing. Um, there wasn't many people there, but it was perfect because sometimes I'm not in the mood for a conversation and I just want to chill. And that's just what I did. So let me run in my car and get this oversized paper and I will be back. So I am so hooked on this show 
First Wives Club. It is so good. I think I'm on a, what season am I on? I'm on a third season and no, there's only three seasons. Third season, episode four. So this is the last season. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do when it's over? And so I've been just watching that, watching that. It's really good. So I would suggest it is a, a big recommend, recommend um, uh, First Wives Club. So I made some lasagna soup and I just plan on eating that for the next couple of days. And it's usually better the next day. And Cindy, she can't have dairy. So I made everything in my pressure, in my little pressure cooker. It's a pressure cooker, slow cooker. You can saute. You can do a lot of things in that pot. Tomorrow I'll find a meat to go with it. So I wanted to fry some chicken, but that's a lot of work. That's that's a lot of work. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. And um, I'll make breakfast in the morning. I bought some eggs, some sausage, some bagels. And so I'll have me a nice little breakfast in the morning with Sydney and see how the day goes. But in the meantime, let me take my butt downstairs and it's cold. It's not even like you could walk on the beach and stuff. It's cold, it's cold. I'm doubling in marketing and management so I can do corporate event planning or like I would love to go into the wedding industry. I'd love to be a photographer, but I need a camera for that. Um but oh yeah, like wedding planning. Or I just want to work for Pine Cove if I can't work at, but yeah. They have careers. They have careers at Pine Cove. Yeah, you can work for them full time. I'm just slow walker. Talk about I walk slow. No, how about you walk fast? How about that? Yeah. But look how pretty it is. Ooh, what's that over there? Is that a restaurant? Coffee. Oh, Cindy, we should go get a coffee. Come on, Cindy. Huh? Or tea or whatever. And look, you can look out at the water. Look at that. That's a little thing. She's a party pooper. She's trying to get to her friend. So I need to study. I have a huge exam. And I need to get an A in the class. Okay. If I don't get an A, I'm fine. Okay. I 
probably need a B to have a Well, set your intentions that you're gonna get an A and you're gonna get an A. Yeah. Okay. But you gotta put in a work. <laughs> well, Sydney is gone. I've been sitting in my car. I was going to go to the library, but the library is closed. So I'm going to go to Starbucks. It's like a random Starbucks. It's not in a place where it's high traffic area. I guess maybe when, I don't know, but I never see it crowded. That's why I like this particular Starbucks. So I'm going to head over there and try to do some work and relax. I'm supposed to meet up with my friend later. So we'll see. I'm not sure what time I'm going to do that. But I may want to use their washing machine <coughs> and wash a few things. Oh, you got that big TV in that car? Okay, you ain't playing. You done bought the big, big TV. The TV could barely fit in this car. Okay, he got, the, I guess, is it black? Oh, I guess you get the Black Friday deals. How many of you go Black Friday shopping? I've never, I've never done that. I just, I just never had the money. The money. Mm -hmm, he got that big thing up in there. Mm -hmm. They gonna be watching some good shows and some good sports. I'm not one to gossip. You ain't hear that from me. Mm-hmm. They look like an odd couple. One looks Mexican. One look tall black man. Is that, you remember that show Cheech and Chong? You know when you look at people, you like, everybody has a story. Sometimes I wonder what the stories are and I I used to who did I do it with I think one of my exes and I, we used to make up stories about people as they were walking it was quite funny so like maybe he rented an uber child maybe that's the uber driver no but the car needs to be a certain year and I don't think that car qualifies <laughs> So anyway, let me stop being nosy. I used to live across the street from this lady in Brooklyn. And she would always hang out in the window. Her name was Nosy Rosie. And boy, she would have the tea on every everybody. She's the one that caused me to get a spanking one time. My mother tore me up in the bathroom with the brush. Because rightfully so, rightfully so, I was playing with matches in the window and Nosy Rosie was watching me and there were curtains all around. So, you know, it taught me a valuable lesson and it wasn't even my house. I was at my friend's house across the street from me, but I was playing with matches, child. So it was great hanging out with Sydney. It's just nice being around her and she's the baby. Like we'll hold hands, we'll play footsie a little. Like if we're in bed, she didn't want to sleep in the extra beds. They had two bunk beds. She didn't want to sleep. So she was like, no, I'm going to sleep with you. <laughs> She's so sweet. And then after the fact, Bobby was like, well, you should have came down here. Well, you didn't ask. You told me you was traveling for basketball. So, but I, I would have gone down. But then I don't think Sydney would have driven down. So I'm glad. Well, we could have driven down and then came back together. I don't know. Well, I'm glad I had the time with her anyway. And she needed her hair done some terrible. So I, I cut, I gave her a good haircut. I could have cut more, but she needed it really, really bad. So I'm glad I had the opportunity to do that for her. And sometimes braiding the hair is relaxing. But what I did, I rebraided a lot of my braids, but it warmed up my fingers to get ready to do her braids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna get out of here. I've been sitting in here for a while. I done went to the bathroom at Walmart. So I'm sitting in the Walmart parking lot. I, what I plan to do is look for an audio book. I just finished my book and they don't have part two out, which is a bummer because it was getting good. Now I wanna know what happened. So I wanna get an audio book before I hit the road. It's crazy, but I'll listen to an audio book before I listen to music any day of the week. I don't know, it's just, 
I gotta be in a mood for the music, but it's like once you get into a good audio book, that's all I wanna listen to. Ooh, I was a little tired, staying up late last night. What was I doing? I don't know, cleaning up, packing up a little bit of stuff. We left the Airbnb pretty clean, but it was nice. Um, a few nights, it was cold. I so I didn't really do the beach, but I sat on a patio a couple of times and I ventured out. But it was it was it was nice hanging out with Sydney. So with that said, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I'm gonna try to look for an audio book. I just been sitting here trying to figure out what I'm gonna do and what time I'm supposed to meet up with my friend. So until then, I'll keep you guys posted and I will check in with you later. And if not, thanks for watching.